Hello, and welcome once again to America's Filthiest Test Kitchens. My name is Ray Boucher, and tonight we're going to be preparing a special dish as a tribute to a motion picture that's sweeping the country, Marvel's The Avengers. Not to be confused with that horrible movie, The Avengers, from several years ago, featuring Ray Fiennes and uh, Uma Thurman, you know, doing a movie version of that old English TV show. It's why they call it Marvel's The Avengers, I guess. Anyway, helping me today in this fabulous meal preparation are the America's Filthiest Test Kitchen uh, Guruettes. Uh, let's give them a big round of applause. Bethany and Marissa Boucher, come on in here. And you actually have to walk by and say hello. You have to get in front of me now and say hello to all the folks out there hello. watching. Hello. Hello. America's Filthiest Test Kitchen. Tonight, we're going to be making shawarma. Woo. Beef shawarma. And let's get started, shall we? Okay, first we start with our meat, which is uh, sirloin steak without having a, uh, a real live Middle Eastern person that we could get an actual shawarma recipe from because A, there's not a lot of Middle Eastern people around Mahaya, and B, if there were, we'd probably be afraid of them. We had to rely on the internet, so what we did was we uh, we got some spices from our good friends over at Zamuri Spices. Chuck, give them a shot of Zamuri Spices. There you go, and we marinated the uh, the strips of meat in the Zamuri shawarma beef spice and olive oil. And as you can see, it's uh, it looks like it's either ready to be cooked or thrown out to the dog. Let's get the grill going and cook this magnificent meat. Now the griddle seems to be getting warm enough and uh, always remember uh, before you cook wash your hands and thoroughly clean your fingernails. Alright uh, Bethany go ahead and let's let's put that nice uh, seasoned marinated shawarma beef on the griddle. Marissa tell everyone about, uh, about the time you spent over in Kenya and the fantastic foods you ate while you were over there a couple of years ago during that exchange program. Don't want to talk about that right now? Okay. Mmm, the smell of the spices is uh, exhilarating. That's some fine, uh, fine meat. Watch out for those expensive tongs. Alright folks, we're gonna let this, uh, we're gonna let this meat cook. And next up it's gonna be preparing the veggie tubbles to go with the meat and uh, getting ready for shawarma. Now that the meat is cooked and it's resting, Marissa will cut the lettuce. Bethany, if you'll bring the lettuce over here to Marissa. <laughs> now kids, be careful when you're using a sharp knife at home that you don't injure yourself or someone else. Now Marissa will remove the outer layers of the lettuce that may be a little wilted, wilted leaves, because we want the lettuce in our shawarma to be crispy and tasty. Now she will slice thinly the lettuce. We got this lettuce at a local farmers market just a few miles down the road. That's where we get most of our produce. Lettuce, onions, tomatoes. For this dish, we're just using lettuce and onions. Some folks uh, suggest pickles. We do have some pickles since Marissa likes pickles. I think that's enough lettuce. And now, Bethany will cut the onion while Marissa prepares the table. As I was saying, some recipes suggest you use fresh cucumber slices, others suggest you can use pickles, just uh, per your taste. Since we get our cucumbers from the farmer's market, we actually buy our pickles from the farmer's market. The, uh, the, uh, the guy there actually uh, cans his own pickles, which is what we've got here. Marissa will now 
slice the pickles that we can put in the finished shawarma product. Nothing like fresh homemade pickles. Notice while Marissa's cutting the pickles how she lets the knife do the cutting. It's an important rule to remember when cooking. Always let the weight of the knife do the cutting for you. Unless it's an incredibly dull knife. Now that the meat is cooked, the vegetables are sliced, we have to think about the, uh, the condiments and some of the accessories that go along with the uh, shawarma. Some people serve shawarma with uh, tabbouleh salad. Uh, some people actually serve it with hummus. We have some tabbouleh and some hummus here. We're not actually going to use the tabbouleh tonight. We're actually going to use the hummus to uh, slather onto the pita bread. Now we weren't able to find pita bread, but we do have some naan. Naan, which is something like pita. Uh, should suit the purpose just fine. So uh, we're going to get some pita ready, some naan ready, going to put some uh, hummus on it and uh, assemble our shawarma. And there you have it, delicious homemade shawarma beef. Well, that's it for another exciting episode of America's Filthiest Test Kitchen. Tonight, it was our tribute to Marvel's The Avengers, lovely beef shawarma. Next week, we'll be doing a little tribute to the collaborations between Tim Burton and uh, Johnny Depp. And we're going to be making a, uh, a wonderful Edward Scissorhands pastry that's in the shape of Vincent Price's face. So please join us for Bethany and Marissa Boucher. My name is Chris Catan, and this has been America's Filthiest Test Kitchen. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.